In this example, we want to find the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors for the following matrix. Okay. All right. So using the ideas right that we that that was presented in, in example one and two, we're going to apply that here. Okay. So we need to find. Okay. We need to find the determinant of a minus lambda i. So in our case, that's going to give, that's going to be, okay, we have 5 minus 2, 1, 3, minus lambda times i2. So that's going to be lambda, 0, 0, lambda. Okay, so we're going to find the determinant of this. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's going to give us Okay. Okay, this is going to give us 5 minus lambda minus 2 1 and 3 minus lambda. Okay, so the determinant of this, okay, is going to be 5 minus lambda times 3 minus lambda minus a negative 2, okay? So then we want to set this, right? remember that we want to find the, the eigenvalues that give us the determinant equal to 0, okay? All right. So expanding on this, okay, we're going to get, so this is going to give us Lambda squared, okay, minus 8 lambda plus 17, okay, and we can use, uh, we're going to use, or we can use the quadratic formula, okay, because it turns out that these eigenvalues are, are going to be complex, okay, so we end up getting, okay, so we get lambda equals to 4 plus i, and lambda is equal to 4 minus i. So of course they're going to be, right, the, these are conjugate pairs, okay, complex conjugate pairs. All right, so now we're going to compute the eigenvectors for each one of those, okay. So let's first find the eigenvector for uh, lambda is e for lambda equal to four plus i. Okay, so we're going to substitute four plus i uh, back into right back into this matrix. So that's going to be five minus four plus i negative two one and then three minus four plus i. Okay, so this is going to give us 1 minus i, negative 2, 1, and negative 1 minus i. Okay. All right, so now we need to find the, uh, the null space associated with this system, okay? Okay, so, all right. So, remember that, okay, so the determinant, right, we want the determinant equal zero, and this is this is the eigenvalue that, that gives us that, that gives us, that makes this determinant equal zero. So that means, okay, so using previous concepts, right, use, this means that these two vectors must be linearly dependent Okay, so when we do the REF, we expect to have the last row to be zeros. Okay. So this is going to give us 1 minus i, negative 2, 0, 0, and then we have zeros on the bottom. Okay. And then again, that's just because the first, uh, the, these two columns are, are literally dependent on each other. Okay. 
Alright. So from here we can go ahead and solve this. Okay, so we're going to let uh, let x2 be equal to some parameter. Okay. And then from here, okay, we're going to get so we have 1 minus i times x1 minus 2 times x2 equals to 0. Okay. So from here we can solve for x1. So x1 is going to be equal to 2 x2. So 2 times x2 over 1 minus i. Since x2 was t, this is just going to be 2t divided by 1 minus i. So typically we don't want to leave x1 like this, okay? We're going, we want to write it in a nicer way. So what we can do here is use the complex conjugate of 1 minus i to simplify this, okay? So let's do that down here. So we're going to have 2t over 1 minus i, so we're going to multiply the top and bottom by the complex conjugate of 1 minus i, which is 1 plus i. So that's going to give us, okay, on top that will give us uh, 2t times 1 plus i divided by uh, 1, so 1 minus i squared, okay. So since, uh, just recall that my i squared is equal to negative 1. So that means for this, we're going to get 2t times 1 plus i divided by 1 minus negative 1. So that's going to become 2. Okay, and so this is going to give us t times 1 plus i. Okay. All right. So now we can write our uh, solution for the null space. So this is going to be... So we're going to get, for x1, okay, we had t times 1 plus i. And then for x2, it was just t. Okay, so writing this in parametric form, we're going to get 1 plus i, 1. Okay. Okay, so the basis for the eigenspace, okay, is going to be um, this vector that you see here. All right, so that's going to be 1 plus i and then 1. Okay. All right, so let's do it for, um, for the other uh, eigenvalue, which is 4 minus i. Okay, and then you'll notice something here. Okay, so let's find the eigenvector for lambda equals 4 minus i. And the eigenvector okay so plugging 4 minus i back into right, back into our matrix okay we're going to get okay so we're going to get 5 minus 4 minus i, negative 2, 1, and then 3 minus 4 minus i. And this is just going to give us 1 plus i minus 2, 1, and then negative 1 plus i. Okay. All right. So now, okay, just like before, we're going to find the null space for this uh, for this uh, system. Okay, 
So we have 1 plus i, negative 2, 1, negative 1 plus i. So again, because this is the eigenvalue that we found is f gives us the determinant equal to zero. So, so we're plugging those back in. That tells us that this two vectors, okay, must be linearly dependent, okay. All right. And so when we do the when we do the REF on this, we're going to get one plus i, okay, negative two, and then zero zero here. And actually, it's really, it's really technically it should be REF. It's not really reduced yet. So just a minor change here. So just on the technical side. So reduce. So it's in row echelon form because technically we could put it in REF if we divide it by one minus i. But but it really doesn't matter. Okay. We do that at the end actually. Okay. So just. Technically speaking, okay, that should be reduced echelon form, or uh, yeah, okay, okay. So now, so from here we're going to solve the system, okay. So again, okay, we have a free free variable, so we're going to let x two be equal to t, okay. And then that means from here, okay, we have okay, we have x1, okay. So we have one plus i times x1 minus two x2 equals to zero. Okay, so that so then solving for x1, okay. Okay, this is just like we did up here, okay. We can solve for right x1. So we're going to have x1 equals to 2x2 over 1 plus i. And this is going to give us 2 times t because x2 is t and then divide by 1 plus i. Okay. All right, so then from here we can rational, we want to use the, uh, we want to use the complex conjugate. Okay, so we want to put x, we want to exp have x1, okay, we want that the denominator to be real valued. Okay, so let's see, just like up here, okay. So we're going to have, let's see, yep. Yeah. So 2t over 1 plus i. So multiply the top and bottom by the complex conjugate of 1 plus i, which is 1 minus i. Let's see. Let's see what I did up here. Yeah. Okay. 1 minus i times 1 minus i, uh, divided by 1 minus i. Okay. So that's going to give us. 2t times 1 minus i divided by, again, we get 1 minus i squared. Okay, so this is going to be 2t times 1 minus i divided by 1 minus i squared is just 1 minus negative 1, which is 2. Okay, so we end up getting t times 1 minus i. Okay, all right. So, okay, so now, okay, x. Okay, so we get that x is equal to x1 is, let's see, x is, what, uh, x1 is t times 1 minus i, and x2 was t. Okay, so this, so writing this in parametric form like we did before, okay, just like we did up here, okay, so we're going to have t times 1 minus i times 1. I'm sorry, 1 minus i, 1. Okay. So the thing you should notice, okay, if you look at the eigenvector here and the up here, you get right there complex conjugate of each other, okay? 
All right, so we have the bases. Okay. For the eigenspan corresponding to lambda equals to four minus i. For the eigenspace. Okay, so this was for four plus i, okay? And then down here, this is for four minus i. Okay, so you should notice, okay, all right, this, okay, we get one plus i here, one plus i one, and down here we get one minus i one. So th that's always going to happen, okay. If you have, if you get a, uh, if we get complex eigenvalues, then the, the, uh, the corresponding eigenvectors should be complex conjugate of each other, okay. All right. Okay, so that's, so we could have just immediately, okay, once you get this, so once you get the eigenvector for this eigenvalue, then you can immediately write this to be, the other will be one minus i and then one, okay? All right, so you don't necessarily have to go through this part, okay? You can just jump to this step here at the end, okay? So those are the, uh, those are the, car those are the complex eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors, okay?